Hello, lovely light ones. Oh, springtime. Here I am in sunny London with a beautiful cedar pine behind me that is holding uh, a family of magpies. You can hear the k -k 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 -k. It sounds like a machine gun magpies. The, um, and the babies just beginning and learning their machine gun sound. It's so beautiful. Uh, so rebirthing of spring right now of opinions and views. <laughs> Uh, what is what is morally right for the human right now? What is just? What is allowed? What are our civil rights? What are our human rights? These are the questions we're, we're asking ourselves in the 21st century as the systems that we know begin to collapse. The systems that brought us our comforts, the comfort zones that we strive for in this world. Sometimes for all of our lives, we strive for that comfort zone that doesn't exist. The only comfort is in the knowing of your true sovereignty. And it's, it's a difficult journey to to see others still very tied into the system where they justify the, the, their choices that they are making through fear, through their wallets, through their belief that if they don't choose a certain path, they will lose everything. Right now, we have nothing to lose. And as a people, we need to start realizing that because the only way to change this world is in the hands of the people. And this has been the only way in the whole of history or history. This rising of the people is the rising of the feminine. This is the, the, the rising of the change that every single human for millennia has wanted to see. Our grandfathers and grandmothers worked for us to have our freedoms, but didn't realize that they were fully not free. And so for me right now, it's the realization that the power is in the people's hands. It's the age of Aquarius. Aquarius is all about community, but it's all about future rebellion. We need to, we don't need to do anything, but if we want to see change, we need to rebel against what we've all, all believed has been our safety net. What's happening right now, it's like a, a well, there's two things. It's like a, a, a finding out your parent has been lying to you all your life. This is what's happening on that global level. We're all finding out that we've been lied to all of our lives about what is morally right and what is morally true and what we are doing with our lives. <laughs> and what we're seeing now with the, the scaremongering and the guilt tripping of saving another's life. If you don't do this, you'll be killing another. This is like, this is the global gaslighting. This is like an abusive spouse that you can't get away from. I have been witness to that as a child. I've been within that as an adult. I can see it, the, the blueprint of an abusive relationship, the gaslighting of another. And I'm guilty of it. This is why I can see it a mile away. And it's, this is the big wake up call. And it's, at the moment we are going through a bifurcation of 
of this this divide of people that are, are still very much in the fear factor and not seeing that bigger picture the the trust of of the trustworthy bodies that we have believed can be trusted for years when in actual fact they can't <laughs> Nobody can be trusted now except for our own individual discernment. We are, we are starting to, to awaken this, this beast from within, this animal. We are conscious animals, yet we have been told that we are much more advanced than animals. Yet, do we know how to survive? <laughs> no, not without a governmental body. And so now we are, in order to survive, we are being forced into this animal instinct, this wrath, this wrath of the feminine that is saying no, no, no more, no more raping, no more harvesting of the human soul. And we come from a society that believes that the, the wrath of the feminine is, is not civil. Savage. And what did we do to savages? <laughs> and this is the savage coming back because those savages are the ones that are living off the land. Those savages are the ones that are healing each other, healing their own brothers and sisters. Those savages are the ones that hold the knowledge of the feminine, the truth. For all of us, we will all be begging the savage to save us all. So let's start realizing that savage within, that beast within is the rising of the feminine, the one that is saying no more. And when we can all stand up together in unison, that is when we have the power. That is when they crumble fully. We detach ourselves from any attachment. You think you have things to lose, you have nothing to lose, but your soul, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Let us start to realize that and live in every moment with love. Live every moment with gratitude for Father Soul that shines on my face on a daily basis. That if I could truly, truly learn how to be a human, I could survive on that alone and not have any control, not even with my oral consumption. <laughs> Let us stay in our hearts, guys. Let us try our best to make our choices from our hearts. For all of us, what is truly and morally just in this world? The plans that we have no longer exist. We have to be in the flow of Gaia because this is her divine plan. And if we're not in her flow as she rips off her plaster, many of us will perish. <sighs> know that you have the power. Know that we, as a people, have the power. Know that your wrath is gold. Know that your wrath is your heart truth. It's nothing to be afraid of. This is the rising of the feminine. This is the age of Aquarius. 
the future rebellion, the community, the new community. And we can't look at community anymore from the old perspective of community because it no longer exists. The new community is all about the shadow work. We wouldn't, will not be able to live in community unless we're taking responsibility and realizing we all have blood on our hands. And with that, I say goodbye and I love you. I love you. I love you dearly.